Hey guys, welcome back to the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. My name's Aaron. In today's episode of Fusion Fortnite, I've got something special for you. You're going to be able to CAD design and make your very own inspired marble Thor Hammer spinner using Fusion 360 and some basic CAD CAM principles and of course a CNC machine. So, stick with me. Um, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Likewise, at the end of the video, um, please thumbs up, subscribe. And if you want a copy of these files, look down below in the description for your free download. Okay, let's get straight into it. With your computer booted up, um, double click on your Autodesk Fusion 360 icon on, on the window. Okay, now that Fusion 360 has loaded, um, I need to ensure that you're in the same screen view that I that I am in, uh, in the orientation. So on your name, click the drop down. In preferences now, you'll need to ensure that you're in Z up. Okay. You'll also need to ensure that your units are in millimeters. Now, if they're not, um, kindly change them now. You can revert back to what you'd like doing later on. This will help you um, cover the tutorial. Now, if you had to change them, uh, notice it won't take effect, okay? You'll have to close and create a new one, okay? Or come up here and go File, New Design. You'll see I've got two windows open here, so I'll, I'll keep the latest one open and the, the latter one shut, all right? Okay, we need to create a sketch. Click on Create Sketch, and we're going to be using the green and red plane, which is the ground plane for here. We need to start to draw two circles. So circles, as you know, are located in Sketch, or shortcut key for a center circle is C. So shortcut key is C. We're just gonna draw two circles. Don't worry about dimensions at the moment. Okay, escape out of that. Now let's dimension them. D for dimension uh, is the shortcut key. Remember it's up in here, it comes all the way down the bottom. Sketch dimension is D. So the inside circle here is going to be 27.95. Now this inside diameter is for the bearing commonly referred to as id so inside diameter okay enter we now to do the create the od which is a od for outside diameter so shortcut key d for dimension click the outside key and bring it out there now this will be um, for my good friends the united states of america will be an inch and 11 sixteenth uh, for us metric boys it's going to be 42.86 now, remember you can convert imperial to millimeters quite easily here, and I've shown you how to do that in a previous video, but we need to extrude what we've done now. So E for extrude, or we come up to create, and the shortcut key here is E. So we're gonna extrude that part there, and as we pull it up, we wanna go 3 8 of an inch, okay? Now, 3 8 of an inch is quite easily, you can convert that to 9.525 by doing this. 3 divided by 8, shift 8, okay, 25.4. All right, now if you want to see the exact height, if I come back to my timeline, right click and go edit feature, okay, you can actually see the formula that I put in there. All right, another way of checking the height, guys, is to do the inspect tool. I click the bottom, click the top, and you can see here 9.525 escape out of that all right what we're going to be, uh, need to do now we need to view onto the top plane okay and we're going to click this top face here not the edge not the inside edge but the face all right it will turn blue and that will uh, allow us to put a new sketch on okay so what we're going to do here we're going to do, be doing um, a little bit of construction uh, before we go to the next to the next step so what i'd like you to do here is we're going to put a straight line up so use a straight line tool sketch straight line as l is the shortcut key start from the center and as we go out you can actually see it gives me a degree value and also a length value we want to make that 90 90 degrees all right now once we do that we can then type in here two inches okay which is 50.8 okay tab ensure that it's locked off at 90 degrees okay and this this is to ensure that we have a correct part now what I'd like to do here with this line is convert that line to a construction line. So by clicking on the line, you'll notice my sketch palette box has now changed. Just watch that again. 
click the line, and at the very top is normal or construction. If I click that little button there, you'll see my blue line has now become a, a dashed line, okay? To, to create the Thor spinner, we need a hammer in the shape of obviously Thor. Okay, so L is the straight line tool, remember? Uh, if you can't find it, go up to sketch, pick, pick L for line. Snap it there, guys, come out here. Don't worry about sizes at the moment. All I want you to do is come down here and terminate there. Now, I'm gonna deliberately go skew with to show you something. Okay. You can see here that my line is diagonal. I'm gonna fix that by clicking on the line once. So watch again. Left click, highlight, bold. Right click and go horizontal, vertical. Now, did you see what happened? This line has now gone skew with. all right? I can do the same for that one, horizontal, vertical, and I can fix it. You can now see the constraints have been put on. You can see all these, so it's pretty much a fully defined until I put some dimensions on it, of course. Okay, D for dimension. We're gonna click the top of the hammer and drag out, or better still, D for dimension. We can click the dotted line, the dash line, let go of the mouse key, click the other line and drag it up, okay? And this is gonna be three quarters of an inch, which is 19.05. I'll be trying to use some inches um, now and then to help my good friends out in the US who uh, always support my video and my channel. Okay, so this one here, guys, the length of that line there, that's gonna be 11 sixteenths of an inch, which is 17.463. Enter, all right? The distance from the dash line to this line here. So click that line first, let go of the mouse key, click the dash line, and I'm just gonna pull it out a little bit here. Okay, that's gonna be 3 16 which is 4.763, 4.763. All right, and you can see the hammer starting, the one side of the hammer head starting to take shape. Rightio, what I like to do, I'm a little bit anal retentive here, I like to pull these sketch dimensions in, and this comes from uh, being taught in the old days, uh, technical drawing and making sure our drawing looks neat and people can understand it so there's not rubbish and looks like a chicken hasn't run across the page and scratched up dirt everywhere. Uh, what we're going to do now, guys, is we're gonna put on some uh, little fillets. So to find the fillet, go to sketch. We're gonna come down here to the fillet tool. And the first fillet we're gonna pick is this top right corner. We're gonna go one, two, and then three. Now, it's allowing us to put in a value here, all right? So in our value, it's gonna be one eighth of an inch, which is 3.175, 3.175. All right, now I've already worked out all these sizes and converted them so you don't have to do it on the fly here. It will sort of make for a quicker video, hopefully. All righty, so what we need to do now you can see this here, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. You can see my drawing uh, looks a bit better now. If I zoom out, it's not as cluttered and probably a bit easy for you to see out there in YouTube land. Right, so what we're gonna do here is mirror one side of the head around that axis line. So sketch, mirror. Start with the top line, the fillet, the next line, bottom fillet, and just work our way around and stop there. And you'll notice up here on my mirror box, I have seven lines selected. Now we need to pick the mirror line. So push the button, it goes blue, come over to the mirror line, bang, here we have it. We're gonna click OK. Okay, now that we've mirrored our part, we can now extrude this. So E for extrude. If you can't remember where extrude lives, it lives in create, and it's about the second one down here. Back to our home view, and that will help us to extrude it. We select the body that we wanna use, and we're gonna go down. Now make sure as you drag down, that this bottom operation changes to join, and that's the one we want. So remember, it's three eighths of an inch. If you wanted to do it, um, you know, as a calculator, we could actually type that in. Okay, so three slash eight, shift eight, twenty five point four, and enter. All right, and we can click here, and you can see that's nine point five two five. All right, back up into our top view now. And, okay, we had to create a point. We need to select that top face, come over to sketch, and point. Okay, we touch the side, touch the top. Come down, there'll be a two dotted line, two dashed lines will join. Click and place your point there. 
escape so you get out of the point. All right. We're going to dimension the point now. D for dimension from that point to that point and drag out. And the distance of that is going to be 42.069. 42.069. Enter. Now you can see that I've constrained it that way, but I can still grab this point here and move it. Now that's a little bit dangerous, all right, because we'll, we won't get a consistent part. So what I suggest you do is click that point, hold the shift key, click the bottom point, right click and go horizontal vertical, and now they're in line with one another. We want to create a hole, so we're going to come over here to create, come down to hole. We're going to ensure that it's a, we need to select the point first. Remember it's sequential, come down here. In here, um, we want to make sure that our depth, we have all. Now to get all, it may not be there. You come down to this tab first, pick all, and ensure that it's a six millimeter hole. And now because I've already um, done this drawing before, practicing and machining it at home, it remembers it from last time. And there's my um, one part of it ready to go. Back to our home view, we're gonna do a circular pattern now. So create pattern circular. We want to ensure that the box is selected, it says features. We're going to come down now, click select. Down to our timeline, we want to pick two, two things, right? The hammer extrusion is one, hold the control key, pick the hole as second. In axes, click the box, click that top ring here, the outside OD, remember OD for outside diameter. We want three, and we want to have it identical. Okay. Save your work. Don't forget to save your work. <clears throat> okay, a couple more steps and our little spin will be finished. So we're gonna come up here now to modify and we're gonna create some fillets. We're gonna put six on one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's gonna be 6.35, okay, 6.35, enter. Just check in the top view that I got them all. You can see they're nice rounded corners that looking good. Back up to my home view. Okay, now we want to put our, on top here guys, you can see that we need to go up here to chamfer now. We click this outside edge and you see it chains all the way around now. One hit, that's what we want. Hold our control key. We're gonna pick the bottom edge. And we're gonna put one mil on that, okay? Equal, make sure it's equal offset. It will give us a 45 degree chamfer. Click OK. Click Save. Alrighty guys, so that concludes today's tutorial on the Thor um, spinning device. Um, come back next week and I'll upload the video footage of me actually machining it out in my machine. If you want a sneak peek, duck over to Instagram and look at uh, DCT Teach One Instagram and you'll see a one minute footage of me cutting this out and actually doing it. Uh, until next time guys, stay safe, work carefully and please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and tick that bell.